Hello, good evening, and welcome to Abstractors. Tonight, abstract art. Okay, abstract art is one of the most confusing and misunderstood, uh, misunderstood concepts in, 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 in art. A lot of people associate all that's modern to abstract. Abstract art is part of modern art, but it's, nothing, it's something completely on its own. It stands on its own. What it actually means, abstract art and abstraction of reality, non-figurative art, art where there's no object, no figure, no landscape, just pure colour line and form. Right, we have a white canvas and basically I'm just going to start playing, which is what we've always said art should be. I'm going to have fun, I'm going to try using a couple of different colours, spread it out on the canvas and see how it goes. So basically I'm just going to put a, a nice lemon yellow. I mean, even that alone as is, slightly reminds me of, of a, a famous abstract painter called uh, Joan Miró. He used to leave that alone, and that, that alone can work. You might think I'm crazy, but it's an interesting uh, effect against a white canvas. I'm gonna spread it out a bit with a squeegee as usual. See, and I'm gonna use some techniques that we've used in other programs. See how we can blend them all together and see where we go. Okay, let's squeeze that there. And just get some, even leaving those, uh, uh, effects, those texture effects. This is a bit of an action painting. Has a lot to do with Japanese art. It's just pure, pure action painting. There's, what do I add? Uh, uh, cerulean blue. It's just, I mean, abstract art at the end of the day, it's about colour. And lemon, yellow and cerulean blue are colours that I like. You can use any, any combinations, hundreds of them, but at the end of the day, experiment. And by the way, there are two different types of abstract art, which I didn't mention earlier on. There's um, uh, optical art, which is a, a scientific approach to colour. Uh, Vasarelli, Bridget Riley, people like that, Olbers. They used like squares of colour, Piet Mondrian, a very clinical approach, approach to abstract art. It's still abstract art. Then there's the other more uh, um, expressionist type, which is more like me, where the actual expression, the, 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 the energy in it is what matters, what you put into it, how you express your feelings, as opposed to a clinical approach. Both are valid, and then there are in-betweens, like everything in life. Anyway, let's just put some of this colour, see what effect it has. I mean, and you can just do that, or you can do uh, a line painting, which, you know, I'll just do a bit now, the rest I'll do later probably for it to dry. Yeah, that alone is now starting to, to have a, a, an effect, a reaction in one's brain. Okay, it's a smudge, but it's still interesting colors. Let's see what, hap what happens when I spread that out. And I don't want to do too much. <laughs> As is, it's already a painting that could easily fit into any modern home. Obviously, it has to be a modern surrounding, and you see loads of these in, in, in uh, interior design magazines. But before we carry on, I want to mention the sort of work I do prior to something like this. Uh, it's important to do preparatory work in, in painting, and basically, I've got my sketch pad here, which I use purely for abstract paintings. What I do is play around with different combinations of colours, smudges, jot down the colours they are so I remember them and try and understand, try and get the feeling each combination gives me. I mean, this is a weird one, 
a green or an emerald green with a, with a, a cerulean blue. It's very strange. Red, uh, blue and green should never be seen, they used to say. But if you work on that, you can actually uh, create an interesting, strange effect. So if that's what you're after, it's ideal. I mean, even these two different types of green, and I don't, I've got loads and loads. You touch a touch of blue with the green changes of the green. And then color, color uh, scientists always say that colors are affected by the color next to it. So a green on its own is not the same as a green with, uh, for instance, a, a cerulean blue. Now I spent hours doing this. You know, it's like like playing with with uh, it's like children when they play with colors in school. And actually, that leads me to the next point. A lot of people. Again, we'll criticize it, this type of art. My child can do it. Es una porquería, eso lo hago yo, the usual. At the end of the day, this is art that I think anyone can do. Anyone at home with a bit of space and a few and, a, and some ideas, you can use any materials you have at hand. And I'll show you now some samples of different material I have. But anyone can really have a go at this. All you need is a bit of creative flair and a sense of color and fun and a sense of fun and enjoy it. So anyway, uh, as you see, I've got loads of different combinations. I just spend a lot of time playing around with these uh, sort of color combinations. That's an interesting one. Look at how that yellow next to the uh, different blues has that sort of a night effect, that light at night. I mean, abstract art is a bit, again, like abstract music, classical music, jazz. There's no words, uh, no, no reference to anything, just pure feeling. Poetry, where the sound of the voices, or of the words, are what matters and not the meaning at times. This is the same. This is abstract. This is anything goes. Pure form, pure color, pure line, nothing else. To further emphasize how anybody and anyone can do this type of painting, I mean, I'm just using now the normal color pencils you can buy anywhere. I'm just, I'm just trying to see what effect I get just by doing something silly like this. Why not? Why not? It might look good in the end. Or I might take it out. You know, keeping to the same color scheme, just see what effect that has on the painting. And I'm, again, no reference to anything, just marks. But the different type of marks to what the ones that we've already made. And what I like about this is how the colors actually mix up or mix together, creating the greens and the different sort of uh, uh, effects on your psyche. Around here. Even crayons, normal crayons kids use in school. Why not? I mean, these are wax crayons, and I'll try and get similar color to the ones we're using and just again let go and have fun using them see see what the color tells me it, it might tell me to go one way or another I might do something like really you know, see the effect that has there And even geometric shapes, why not? Anything that you feel like doing. As long as the overall effect works, that's what matters.